All right, so next chart, uh, we're going to create a product rating bar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign on the worksheet. And if you want to minimize this tab here, so you see all the different uh, worksheets, that's fine. I'm going to double click on sheet seven here and call that the product rating bar. Okay, again, we're going to follow the same pattern. Choose insert, pivot table. My source of information is my source underscore data. Click on OK. And I get my uh, pivot table fields, right? So now this is going to be kind of a, a three dimensional uh, source here. So what I'm going to do is take my product rating, okay, drag it into the columns. So I get all my uh, product ratings, right? So I get uh, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied, and so on for our customers' ratings, right? Then my product, my actual product, I'm going to drag that into my rows. Okay, so I get my hats, pants, shirts, shoes, towels as a function of uh, what the rating was uh, by, by the customer. Okay, again, you can choose revenue and drag it into the values. I don't want the, you know, the revenue, the dollar values, but I want the count. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this drop down on the bottom right, value field settings choose count click on ok and very nice i get my uh, breakdown of my different product categories as a function of the rating and how many ratings were given uh, for hats for example i have 36 people that were very satisfied with purchasing hats okay uh, so you get this uh, grand total and my pivot table so now what i can do is click on insert Choose pivot chart, okay. And uh, now on the pivot chart, uh, I can use, for example, uh, let's go to bar, okay. Uh, bar. Let's go to 100% stack bar. All right. So 100% stack bar, and this should be nice. If I click on OK, I'll go ahead and close my pivot chart fields, and notice I get a, a nice little breakdown of my product categories and what the ratings were, right? Um, so let's go ahead and uh, right click my buttons here on the chart. You'll right click, hide all the field buttons on the chart, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click on design here. Choose, uh, let's choose a fourth one here. Very nice, I get the breakdown, the legend here, and then the numbers, right, of my products, right? And what the product rating was, all right? So this is our product rating bar okay very good so we have all these different uh, charts in the next video we'll get started with our dashboard okay hey guys if you found the video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content see you next time